So today is um, National Suicide Prevention Day, which is great. Like, I I really appreciate it um, that there's people trying to create awareness for, you know, people that suffered or do suffer from suicide thoughts or people that did actually end up killing themselves. But I have very, very distorted emotions when it comes to those kind of days, like national women's day or suicide prevention day because the awareness should always be there and i totally get that there's a day for it in which there's gonna be more awareness than usual however if it's black lives matter or pride or whatever you know we gotta remind ourselves that it doesn't end with a certain event it doesn't end with a certain day black lives still fucking matter homosexual lives still freaking matter trans lives still freaking matter and i know especially in new zealand with such a high suicide rate most people know someone or know someone who knows someone that killed themselves or suffer directly from suicide thoughts I'm sending so much love and compassion to you. You are not alone. And no matter how freaking alone you feel, you are never alone. There was a time when I wanted to kill myself and I thought this pain is never going to end. And I felt like I will never survive this. And I just wanted it to stop and I wanted it to be over. And I felt like I could just not handle my own self. And I felt like I was a burden to everyone. And I thought, I actually thought I was going to do everyone I loved a favor by killing myself. But I didn't. I did the therapy. I did the, the work, the mental health work. I did healing and recovery. And now I'm so glad so happy and so grateful that I did not kill myself and I hope if you suffer if you are suicidal that you are not gonna give up you are not gonna freaking give up okay because no matter how much it freaking hurts right now, how, no matter how hopeless everything is right now, everything, my sweet, sweet darling, everything in life is temporary and so is your pain, okay? This pain is only temporary and you got this, okay? You freaking got this. You're not alone. We are all together in this. And one other thing, self-harm. I mean, everyone has different, really different perception of that. You cannot generalize a way to deal with someone that cuts themselves and you know it. But honestly, personally, I wish people would have said something when I was coming to school with my arms. You know, I wish people would have said, are you okay? I wish people wouldn't have looked away. I wish people would have asked me, do you need help? But instead, everyone was just avoiding it. And it felt so painful. I felt like no one cared. But that's just speaking for myself. But don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to ask someone if they need help. Please. Self-harm is a scream for help. Self-harm is a scream for attention. Self-harm is a way to making you feel suffer, to making you feel something, to to punish yourself and to tell people, I need help, I need help. Hello, please, can someone help me because I cannot help myself right now. And I want people to just open their eyes 
and help those who need help. Because a freaking Instagram post, a freaking Instagram story, and a freaking cool, nice, designed, oh, please don't freaking kill yourself photo, it's not going to change anything. And we all know that. It's so easy. You know, you just click share. Huh. Oh, wow, so I care about black lives, huh, share. Wow, I care about homosexuals, share. I care about people that want to kill themselves. I'm just going to share. But do you care? What do you do in your everyday life to show that you freaking care? Because you know what? Your Instagram story doesn't mean shit, okay? Bring your Instagram to life. And live what you preach on the gram. Share the love. Share the vulnerability. Don't be scared. We're all scared. We're all in need. Let's share the love. Let's spread the freaking love. You matter every freaking day. Every minute. Every hour. You always matter. And if you give healing... And life a second chance. You can find the beauty in it. Okay. So much love out there. I'm sending it all to you. Please take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Take care of freaking strangers. Watch out. Wake up. Look out for the people that you love. That you don't love. Everyone. Because, you know, we can only change the world with love and compassion.